Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about what the Earth would be like if there was no moon. And to understand that, let's start by talking about how the moon formed. There are two ideas today as to what caused the moon to come into existence. The first is that a Mars-sized object struck the Earth and splashed some of the surface of the Earth and part of that body into orbit around the Earth. And that debris, it formed a ring for a short time, then it became the Moon. The other possibility that we're studying today is that the Earth was spinning really fast, so fast, that some of the outer layer of the Earth was pushed out into space as gases formed a ring and then that ring became the moon. So those are the two ideas today that are being studied for the origin of the moon. Well, once we had the moon, what properties does it have? How is it related to the Earth? Well, first of all, as you all know, the Earth is spinning on its axis once a day, which gives us day and night. And the moon is orbiting the Earth in the same direction that the Earth is spinning. And the moon is also rotating, we call it, or spinning on its axis, but the moon rotates at exactly the same rate as it orbits the Earth. So if this is the Earth and this is the moon, the same side of the moon always faces the Earth, but for that to happen, the moon must be rotating. Okay, the other major effect the moon has as far as, as our discussion here is that it helps to create the tides. And the tides, as you all know, rise and sink with cycles. And the origin of the tides is caused by two things. First of all, if this is the moon and this is the earth, the force of gravity from the moon gets weaker the farther you get away from the moon. So on the side of the earth closest to the moon, the force of gravity from the moon on the waters here pull the waters up towards the moon and create a high tide. There is also a high tide on the opposite side of the earth, and that is caused by something else. It turns out that in real life, the, earth, earth and the moon does not orbit the earth, but rather the two bodies orbit together like this around a common place. It's like two people waltzing on the uh, on a dance floor and this motion of the earth as the earth and moon waltz together this motion of the earth pushes t water away from the moon and the water being pushed away from the moon causes the high tide on the other side of the earth so there are two high tides one on the side closest to the moon and one on the opposite side one other thing you need to know is that the Earth is spinning so fast compared to the rate that the Moon orbits about once a month. The Earth is spinning so fast that the high tide closest to the Moon is not in a straight line. It's a little bit ahead of the Moon in their orbits together, their waltzing together. And this water that is created by the, the high tide created by the Moon slightly ahead of the moon, the gravity of this water pulls the moon and gives the moon extra energy. This pulling of the, of the moon from, by this water gives the moon extra energy that causes it to spiral away from the earth. And that has been happening since the moon first formed. The moon has been moving away from the earth because the water on the earth created by the tide is pulling it. But wait a minute, if the moon is moving away from the Earth, then the, <clears throat> the moon is getting energy from the Earth. The Earth has to lose energy. You can't get something for nothing. And the way the Earth loses energy as it gives energy to the moon to spiral away, the Earth loses energy by slowing down. So the rate of rotation of the Earth is slower every day. 
and it's about a thousandth of a second per century these days, it slows down. And so the day is getting longer, and it has been since the moon first formed, and that is going to continue until the two bodies are really far apart, and the Earth is spinning at the same rate that the moon is orbiting, and from then on the moon will not move farther away, so the moon is not going to leave the Earth. 